My name is Vinny Stefano. I'm 20 years old. I live in Toms River, New Jersey, and um, I have a problem. What I do is, uh, and people find this weird, they say it's not normal, is uh, wherever I go, I have to take samples of things, whether it be dirt or sand or even air sometimes. I, um, I carry around my little, I guess you would call it a kit, and um, when I feel like the time is right, if something significant happened or something that I just want to remember, my way of remembering it is in a bottle. For example, I, uh, one, of the, one of the first ones that I started collecting was I was four, and uh, I was playing soccer in town and um, I got my first goal and right after I scored my first goal uh, there was this little little bottle laying on the laying on the soccer field next to the post and I said I want to remember this forever and what I did was I took a little dirt on my finger I put it in the bottle and I brought it home and um, I labeled it I put you know first goal July 4th 97 and um, you know, ever since then, it's just, in my opinion, it wasn't, you know, I loved every minute of it. I remember everything now, in bottle form. I've known Vinny for about eight years now. I first realized Vinny had a problem when uh, we were actually walking in the park with my dog and, uh, it was the first time he met my dog, and I had to go to the bathroom, and I just asked him to watch my dog while I took a leak behind the trees, and um, I came back, and he was trying to pull hair off my dog, and he had this, like, jar, and he's trying to trying to put the hair in there, and he got really nervous when, uh, when I told him. I, I saw he, he just kind of got a little flustered and turned red. What the fuck is doing there? I... I don't know. No idea. Know. Yo, what the fuck you're doing there? Nothing. If... If there's ever a time, and there has been a lot, where I can't get the sample, I can't deal with it. Um, the amount of anxiety and stress I get is just, uh, it's almost unbearable, to say the least. Um, I was actually, uh, having a snowball fight with my, uh, my brother, and he threw it, and it hit me right, hit me, uh, square in the nose, and, uh, it broke it, because it was an ice ball, and, um, I had to go to the hospital and everything, but I remember having my kit with me taking it out and taking a piece of that ice, putting it in the bottle, and saving it. When I got home from the hospital, I labeled it. Broken nose, January 3rd. I can't describe the feeling. Like, some people have to do drugs to get the feeling. You know, other people have to do, you know, like, mountain climbing or bungee jumping to get that adrenaline rush, but something about it, collecting samples, it just makes sense, you know? My family on numerous occasions has uh, approached me and, um, you know, asked me why I do this and tried to get me to stop. And um, people, f they just don't think this is normal. I wish, I wish I could sample my life. In my mind, there's nothing wrong with it. I, s I see him collect these samples maybe four five times a day, depending on where we are, you know, it could just be anything. The more bottles I have, the better I feel about it, and 
the better I feel about it, the more bottles I want, so the more I collect. He, he tries to hide it sometimes, he'll, you know, he'll double take behind him, make sure there's no one that sees what he's doing, but uh, people react to Vinny doing this as if, almost like it's public nudity when they see him do this, he's, uh, people seem uncomfortable, he seems uncomfortable, people seem almost sexually violated. Do I think uh, Vinny has a problem? Um, yeah, absolutely. Do I think uh, he's ever gonna stop? No, he's never gonna stop. Nothing's gonna stop me. I'm gonna be doing this till the day I die. <laughs>